Today, I'm gonna to show you how partnering up with Home Depot and Windex Outdoor got me this pumped, but I needed to make over a part of my backyard before I cleaned the rest of the windows because it was just not summertime ready. I wanted to walk you through my whole process when something gives me inspiration. And when I cleaned that first window, I realized how gross the rest of our backyard was. So I just thought it'd be a little bit repetitive if I cleaned all the windows, decided to make over the space a little bit later, kick up all this dust and dirt, and then have to clean the windows again. So I wanted to tackle the space prior to finishing the rest of the windows. I DIY'd this area on my YouTube channel before, and I will definitely link it for you. But truth be told, we never ever sat down once on the these benches nor did anybody else we didn't really use them and once I saw that that was the case why not replace it with something that will get more joy out of and I'm actually gonna move these guys over to my friend Allie's house when I redo her entryway she'll actually use it phase one was just to get rid of all of this and that was a lot more work than I anticipated of course I just had to shovel out all these rocks in some areas I used weed liner to protect it other areas I did not so the portion that I needed to shovel out and scoop by hand definitely took me way longer than I anticipated but once I got to where the weed liner was I was able to just pick it up and maneuver and go and a skateboard came in handy later on as well to move all this weight because I didn't have a wheelbarrow the fixtures sticking out of my house were definitely looking a little janky so I went ahead and just taped off and spray painted them black to match the light fixtures that I was planning to install to make it kind of look all cohesive. I know this sounds really weird but I'm just walking you through how my brain works. I loosened up the dirt and pulled the roots and the weeds out of this little planter area prior to planting the newness that I got at my local Home Depot. I'm not sure if the selection is the same across the board, so I didn't necessarily link the plants down below, but just make sure you're planting according for your weather, your climate, full sun, shade, you know the whole deal. Instead of leaving just dirt there, I decided to go with some black mulch just to cover up that area. It also prevents weeds as well, so I just thought it was a nice contrast from the green to the black mulch. You can see the hose that I installed prior to this clip, but it didn't have a hose for this area and if I was going to redo this and also have this Windex outdoor sprayer on hand, I want to ensure that I have a hose for every side of the house. That way I can tackle any window or water any plant um, because that definitely wasn't the case before. So I just added some anchors to screw in this star hose holder. I've linked everything down below for you guys as well that I have for this makeover and it just, again, the black just ties it in. I don't know. I just really liked it. If you've seen my other makeovers, you know I always suggest upgrading your lighting and that's the same for outdoors. I have these floodlights and I wanted to replace them with this really rad light fixture that I found off of homedepot.com and I got it delivered. I went to install it and also had my assistant yelling at me. It was pretty hectic. Are you for real right now? Stop, dude. Stop, be gentle. What is happening? I'm sorry. Nope. <laughs> No, no, it's not happening. Why are you crazy? <gasps> oh! After she was done being a psycho and I installed this light, I moved on to the gazebo area and that is because this little like wall to gazebo area is the main focal point of our backyard and that's what I wanted to spruce up. I used the rocks from the other planter area and put them out in a little bit of a design and planted succulents in between just cause again, you wanna be sure you're planting for your weather. Not sure why I didn't film me planting the succulents, but I didn't. Moving on. <laughs> the next order of business prior to getting down to the dirty and cleaning the windows is to paint the trim and kind of spruce up the door jams because I sort of kind of maybe removed the screen doors that weren't working. <laughs> I used wood putty to fill up the holes and sanded it down smooth. Yes, I see the screws coming through that door. Let's not comment on that. We'll deal with that later. Since the brown was looking a little faded that was already on my house, I decided to go to Home Depot and pick up a bare paint and primer in one exterior flat with a deep base, but the color is called a dark truffle. And I just went ahead and painted over that brown and just made it a little bit richer. There were just a couple more things that were gonna cause some dust in the backyard. The first one being moving these shelves that I DIY'd and actually transforming them into a bench just by organizing the pieces a little bit differently. I also went ahead and refinished the wood since it was looking dusty. I added some concrete adhesive to the top of these blocks and laid the wood directly onto it and pressed firmly to make sure it grabbed hold. And voila, I had a DIY bench. 
since I was in the mood to refinish basically everything, I sanded down this DIY fireplace mantle that I made a while ago and stained it again to make it more rich. Last thing I had to do that was causing a little bit of dust to fall down onto the windows was installing those anchors to hang up these string lights. And don't worry, there is a string light hanging kit I linked down below for you that is super easy for anybody to use and install. I ran inside to grab my leaf blower to just get all the dust and debris completely away from all the areas that I just spent this time making over. And then I headed to Home Depot, ran to the cleaning section and grabbed two bottles of the Windex Outdoor. Windex Outdoor works on outdoor windows, patio furniture, brick and patio doors. I will be using it on my outside patio doors and my outside windows today, nothing else. But the reason that I waited to use this after I transformed this space and something I find very interesting is it won't harm plants, siding, or synthetic decks. Let me tell you, setting up using this product is probably the easiest thing in the world. You legit just attach your hose, pull off the yellow tab. Don't pull it off off like I did. Keep it on there and then you get ready to use it. They say. To start, you switch the nozzle on the Windex Outdoor bottle to rinse and then you just let it rip onto the surface that you would like to rinse. You want to be at least five feet away though. Just like in Rachel fashion, I read the directions wrong because of my dyslexia. I thought it said you switch it to the clean nozzle, you spray it for 20 seconds from the top to the bottom, but it is bottom to top. So do not do what I'm doing here, but that is dyslexia at its finest. Let the suds sit for about 15 seconds, but do not let them dry. Switch the nozzle back to rinse and rinse all the suds away. really couldn't believe how easy this was and how effective it is. Windex Outdoor leaves a streak free shine which I genuinely couldn't even believe and it removes dirt smudges and smears and I honestly thought that couldn't be done without like getting a little bit of elbow grease into the window and wiping it away. Not gonna lie, I was really nervous using it on the doors just because I painted that trim around it and I thought there'd be like water spots or it would dry up on there and look a little bit crusty and it did not, I am so pumped to say. The more windows I cleaned, the more my excitement grew that by the end of it, I wanted to see if it could clean anything else. I didn't have patio furniture per se that I could use this on so I opted for Paul's basketball backboard. Side note, it was super windy out when I decided to do this for the backboard and I got completely drenched. <laughs> now that my windows and backboard are squeaky clean, it is time to add the details. I added some mirrors to the mantle, plants scattered throughout the backyard, these really awesome decorative vases that I got off of Home Depot online a while ago came in handy for like my fireplace moment, switching that up and just again purchasing plants that will survive our weather. Falling in love is wonderful. Falling in love is wonderful. I always scratch my head at the end of a makeover like this where I find inspiration in the weirdest places. Like cleaning windows with Windex Outdoor Cleaner led to this makeover because I didn't want to sh like bother cleaning the windows if it wasn't a space worth hosting in, which it is now. Shout out to Home Depot and Windex for unintentionally lighting a fire under my butt to get this space ready for all of our summer needs. I am so grateful. That's funny. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is happening? It's wonderful. You good? Oh. All this cleaning makes her excited. Of course, I've linked the Windex Outdoor Spray Solution for you down below. Let me know in the comments what project you would tackle with your Windex Outdoor. Do you notice how clean the windows are? Windexed it, huh? I windexed it, it all. That's right, look at that. Falling in love. Am I cleaning my backboard when you get a chance? <laughs> thinks he's real funny asking that question but that's why I got a second bottle not only because the price is so good but because I'm gonna make him do all the windows that are upstairs <laughs> If you're looking for an easy way to clean your outdoor windows, be sure to grab a bottle of Windex Outdoor at your local Home Depot. I've also linked it down below for you. Okay, now I am super pumped to host in the backyard. So comment down below any other DIY ideas that have to do with outdoor entertaining because thank you, Home Depot. You just set me up for the summer.